Hey guys, long time no see and today I've got something, something very special for you. We are all been waiting for this for quite some time and I now got the brand new 8.8 cm Flux 37 or the 8.8 and um, today we're going to build this model together and I will give you a, a short overview about the, about the sprues, about the decals in it. Um, we can later talk about how the assembly was, how the crew looks like. However, I will build mine with the Empress Miniatures Volkssturmbesatzung, uh, so the crew of old men and young boys and so on. Um, and due to that, we will only assemble the gun today and not the crew with that. Uh, so let's go and have a look into the frame. Okay, so this is what we get in the box. Um, we have the assembly leaflet over here. Um, it contains a little bit about the history of the, of the gun and the assembly instructions, obviously. Then we got a flyer for the new models of Italieri, so I think there is a new cross-marketing campaign going on between Warlord Games and Italieri as they're constructing their models already. Then we have the blister with a metal crew in it. Um, I'm not super happy with that because they now have attached heads and they have all early war uniforms, so this limits a little bit your, your possibilities you have with those. Then we have, and I think this is really nice, we have a decal sheet for the 88 with, with the kill rings on it and with, with the gun numbers and the battery, helmet gray, uh, symbols, destroyed tanks, destroyed planes, and so on and so on. Um, even with, uh, I'll zoom in on that if you can see that, uh, here we have even for those in the um, anti-bunker row, uh, we have the symbols there, so I think this is really cool. We have the stat card. I don't know uh, if you use it, uh, I don't use it at all, but well, there's something for, if you want to use it, it's in there, so that's nice, I guess. And that's the complete sprue of the gun, so really big, really uh, really cool. We have the, the, the gun lever here, we have um, uh, yeah remaining shells, uh, shell cases, we have uh, the, the crucifix uh, mount, we have a large gun shield here. Um, that can be a, uh, can be included or not, so you can build with or without gun shield, and um, yeah, um, the the transport levers and so on. So everything's uh, in there what you need. You can build it with a, a elevated gun or with a with a horizontal gun, so a tra traverse gun. Um, I will build mine with a traverse gun and with a with the opportunity uh, possibility to um, turn it on the cruciform mount, and. Um, yeah, the, the gun shield will be added later. I'll tell you why, but that's due to uh, some some painting reasons. So don't worry too much about that. Let's go to building that thing. Uh, I have to set up the camera new for that, and then we can start. Okay, so let's build this thing. Um, everything you're gonna need is the usual things: your your um, exacto knife, uh, a nipper um, or a, a cutter, and some plastic glue. And I got my assembly leaflet here because obviously I don't know how to build this yet. Okay, then let's start with the with step A, assembling part two and nineteen. This is part two. This is nineteen. Um, and they are going to to be paired up. Sorry for that. I have to check if the camera is working properly. We also need part 18. This is... where is it? My 17, 11, 18. There it is. And we need the barrel. That's part 22. Part 22. Okay, I think I sp I've spotted the first mistake here because obviously this is the barrel. But it's number 23 and number 22 would be some kind of optics or ventilation or something like that. So let's be a little bit more independent from that and just take the barrel and, not, and disregard the numbers there. Okay, I'll put this aside and we'll get all the remaining stuff off of that. This one's fine. This is also fine. And this one, oh. How should this is supposed to look? We have to cut off this thing. I should get a new new blade for that knife. Uh, 
The new Italieri sprues are actually really nice. Uh, I've recently built a few 38 T's, as you can see on my Instagram, and um, I think they were the new the new start for the for the models. So they're really cool, really nice, um, very crisp. Um, at this model, I can see the the plastic is a little bit more sturdy than than before, and it feels a little bit more um, uneven. So it, it has a little bit more structure on top. I don't know um, if this is going to be something new of, on every model or is, if this happens by accident, but I think that's that's nice. Okay. After we got all of that, we have to glue together part 2 and 19. So this is part two. We have some holes in there that are supposed to fit with the corresponding holes in part 19. 19, yes. Press it together real, real tight because otherwise we'll have some left uh, leftover over grates or gaps in that. We don't want that. And then we put in the barrel. In this hole over here. Oh, you can. Oh, actually, you can turn it. So I'll suggest you make sure that it aligns fine, so that you have the the, um, the sprue remnants on the on the top of that. We will be uh, we won't be able uh, able to see that when it's painted, but so far we have to do that. Then we glue in the firing mechanism part 18 down here. I think, yeah, that's, that's a little bit tricky to pull it in, but we'll get it done. Okay. Use the your knife to put it exactly where you want to have it, because it's a little bit flimsy here. Okay, that's that. Now we have two parts that should be connected. 28 and 27, two times, 27s and again 27s, um, oh no, it's 27 and 28, so this is one set and this is one set, we shouldn't mix them up, and up here and up there. part one, Two. If you're hear hearing that noise in the background, I think that's my dog creaming and barking while he's asleep. Okay. Don't lose anything. At the moment it's super warm in Germany, so I'm sweating balls here, but we won't complain because summer is always too short in Hamburg and therefore we will make the most of it. While looking through this um, sprue I actually realized there are a lot of very very thin plastic um, parts, so I hope they are not too fragile. I had that in the past quite a lot. That parts broke off in the game um, because Italieri seemed to go more for a, a scale modeling approach there um, for, for display models and um, yeah those are I think those are mutually exclusive things you can't really build um, a scale model sprue with yeah with parts for um, for gaming I think this does not go well together Okay, next we need part 21 and part 1, that's this one. And now comes something interesting, we're not supposed to glue those together. Well, 21 and 1 is supposed to be glued together, but not the assemblies from B into part 1. OK, 
Okay, scratches this off here. And this is the back side. Okay, and this is supposed to go up here. Like this. And this way around. And that was too fast. We let it rest a little before we put on the, the, the rest. Okay, what will be the next thing to do? Um, we need two times part three and then we will assemble all of this together. What's part three? Those are part three. They're again really fragile, but I think for that one they're like the elevating mechanism, I think. So they have to be thin. I actually think they go in there a little bit deeper when you build it elevated. So that's actually pretty cool. Okay, we got it like that, and now we have to put those pointing that direction in here. And they're supposed to, oh, oh, I see, this is tricky. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but here are some pins and here are some holes. And we're supposed to stick the pins into the holes so that it, they like clip in there. And now you see it moves. Cool. Cool story, bro. Um, okay, now what? What kind of model is this? Crazy. Okay, again, we're not supposed to glue that, uh, that in here, but we have to stick it in here and put this on top of this little pin. Oh my god, this is super flimsy. I put both of them in there. And we're not supposed to glue that in this yet again, so let's see. I think, um, okay, I got this in here and now I've got to put in the other one. Okay, this is, this is new. I've never, I've never seen something like that um, in a model from Italieri before. I think that's nice, but somehow this looks a bit out of place. So let's see what, what comes next. Next part 25 and 24. Those are these big things and yet again, wrong numbers. Italieri, what have you done? This is part 26 and this is part 25, but I'm pretty sure the, those are sort of supposed to be called 24 and 25. So um, I think that's wrong. Um, doesn't matter. It's not our first scale model we are building, so we get along with that. Okay, how are we supposed to set that in? The, that should look like this. And this part over here is too much. That has to go. Sometimes you can't really see if that's that's Debris or if that belongs there, so let's see. Okay. Um this part is going on that side, like this, into that hole. Oh my god. This is very, very interesting. But I'm allowed to glue that right now, I hope. But where? Ah, those go in here. I see what we're doing here. I can see what we're doing. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I solved the riddle. So this little part has to be glued on that little part and you have to put it on that ring. I don't know if that's supposed to be glued, but um, it doesn't say 
different in the assembly leaflet, so I'll just do it. And some glue here, some glue here, and then pin into the hole and Okay, that's for this side. And now we see we can elevate and turn down the gun. Cool. That's actually quite fancy. Same goes on the other side. First the pin and then the frame. Okay, press it together, align it. And we're good. That's our gun mount. Very, very interesting way of constructing this. Because now, as you can see, we can really elevate the gun and it looks correct. The, the hydraulics uh, move and we can turn it back in. This is really, really cool. But make sure that every uh, that the glue is dry before you play around with it too much, because otherwise, <laughs> as it just happened with me, this part goes off again. Okay, that's that. Next will be the gunner seat and the optics, I think, or whatever the fuck that is. Part thirty-four. We have it here. Part nineteen. That's the seat. Okay, here, and part 17 here. This looks really, really fragile. I hope it doesn't break off in the game. Uh, and the, uh, the gunnery seat goes on this side. And this little mount here. Put some glue. The pedals for the legs. And the, the seat mount goes here. Why is it backwards? I don't know. This gun block goes here with uh, caps on top. Oh, I think that's the battery compartment for the um, for the gun alignment system. Yeah, I think that's where you could connect the gun to the rest of the battery so that they would that you get your elevation and so on from the from the gun controller from the battery commander. Okay, the seat's on, but it fell off here again. Okay. Really, really fragile. We have to let it rest a little bit, because this part is so tiny, there's so little space to glue it. Let's give it a minute and maybe I have to turn on the lights. Okay. It's dry now. Uh, as you can see, I've had to set up the camera a little bit differently due to light and so on. Uh, I hope it doesn't disturb you so much. We finished this part of the gun now and we're going to this one. And you can see already there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight holes in which we have to assemble, uh, assemble stuff. So let's do that. We need part 9, 36, 14, 22 and 8, uh, which is part 36, this is this one, looks like some kind of optics or something, 22, that's this one, Then 
then we need 14, which is one of those. We need part 9. This one, oh, that one looks really fragile. I hope I don't break it. And part 8. Again, really, really fragile. good. Part 9. Don't lose it. Um, okay, I regularly hate those fragile parts. They're really not my favorite, but it's it gives a lot of detail to the model because otherwise this would have been skipped or not gone through as it's supposed to be and I think Warlord game is currently trying to step up their model quality a lot. Might be partly due to uh, Rubicon taking large chunks of their of their market share but for me that's perfectly fine because we get more and better models for the same or cheaper price. Okay let's start with part 8. It goes in here, I guess, yes. But how? Like, oh God, it's so tiny I can't really grab it. Like this. Ah, uh, crap. Crap. Oh no. What the fuck is this? Uh, sorry, I think we have to get a, a, a Peggy 18 rating for that. Sorry for swearing, but that regularly happens when I'm building models. And I guess we have to cope with that. Okay, part 19 goes there. Uh, part 9 goes there and there. Okay. Come on. Come on. Okay. This one's fine. Really cool model, but I think if you have a short temper, this might be a thing that triggers you badly. How does this go where? Okay, the turntable goes down there, and this goes in here. And this is... Ah, like that, okay. Um, that's directional, so you ha you can't really put it in differently without fucking everything up here. Okay, this goes. Part 22 goes in there. And again, you have a, a directional pin in here so that you can't set it in wrongly, which is very nice. I like models for stupid people like me. And here we have part... 14. Okay. All this stuff looks really complicated now, and I think if you don't have an airbrush, you will hate this model, but now you have the chance to buy an airbrush. That's cool, I guess. And we have to assemble the next seat for the... Um, oh, this will be the gunner seat. We need part 7. And again, part 19. And I will glue them together before I start with anything else because this will need a little time to rest. This has to go off. Let me throw this away. Um, on here. Okay. Okay. 
let it rest. And we need another part 14, so a lot of things to turn and twist right now. Part 33, 35. Those are here 33. And 35. After that we have some time off from the gun and we'll assemble, assemble the mount. Okay, what, what goes where? Let's start with part 35 that goes in here. Which one was 35? This one was 35. And it's going in there that way. Ah, uh, this is super flimsy here. This is super flimsy. Um, part 33 goes on here. And yet again, we can't put it on wrongly because it only goes in in one way. 33 is moving out of their hole again, like this. And uh, part 14 goes here. If you're really a nerd, you can now look up in which position the handles should be for the elevation you want to construct. But I'm not doing that. If you're doing that, cool. I mean, everyone does this hobby with a different intensity, right? Um, and I want just want a gaming piece here. And we're putting this in there too, somehow. But it doesn't really go in right now. I think this might be a little optimistic because the model that goes on there is a metal model and um, I don't know if it's strong enough to carry it. Doesn't matter, the gun itself is done. We put it aside and we start now with a, the with a mount. For that we need part 29. This is this again. Flimsy in the lower part, sturdy in the upper part. We can just break it out of the of the sprue. And then we need part 32. This is this. So that we can set up the gun properly. And part 15 and part 4. Twice. So this is part 15. Looks really cool. But be careful here because we have lots of shingles and stuff. That you don't break off those shingles, you would lose a lot of detail here. And part four, twice. And again, there are a lot of levers and stuff like that. Don't break it, might make you sad in the long run. Ooh. Cut off this one and here, here. I think now we can really see that this will be a big ass gun, and will be really a cool addition to every collector or gamer. And I think game wise, well, although this gun is not overwhelming, you can definitely play it. Um, it's quite versatile, but you kind of have to center your army list around it um, because it definitely needs support. It won't win you the game and it's not really like it's going to kill much because it's simply or it's very good in denying terrain. So the enemy will put a lot of effort in it to kill it, either that and that, that damage will not go onto your other units or they will try to move around it and navigate it and then um, if you set up correctly you can lock down large parts of the battlefield and that allows you to, to focus your troops on other, other parts. I've played against it now for a couple of times and I think it's it's cool. It's not 
like you have to have it, but it's cool. Okay, we put those in here and glue this part from the other side. Okay, so like this and this from here. Ah, okay, then you can move the the legs of the gun. Cool. Okay, Warlock. Small addition, just put into your assembly leaflet that you should turn it the other way around. Then it becomes a lot easier. Okay, some glue in here, some glue in here, and we put this in here. Ah, okay, that was not as easy as it looks like because it really has to go into place if you really do, if you don't perfectly hit the, the place where it should, it's supposed to go it won't lock correctly and then it looks weird and uh, not good not good okay what, what the fuck you could have done this completely different and it would be cool and now it's, it's it's just a pain in the ass to assemble and I don't know if it brings any value gaming wise so that you can use your model better or let me know what you think do you think world is starting to, starting to target different types of players more on the scale model side or what's going on here okay now we have to, uh, to put the big thing on I think it goes on like this or does it doesn't. It goes on like this. Huh? That could have been so embarrassing. Okay, glue on it. Glue oh. here, glue in the holes, glue everywhere. And put it on top. Cool. Okay, now we can see the, the gun fits nicely. We can still turn up and down these parts. Uh, this would be the part where the trailer goes on the original gun, I think. And now, again, flimsy things. We need 2 times 13 that's the other, other wheels. Then 2 times part 11 those are these hinges or whatever this is supposed to be. And 1 times part 30, that's the transport mount for the gun. So I think we're getting close to where we want to go with the, with this model. Not so many parts left. And I think you really want to put the gun shield later on when the model itself is painted because I can already see a lot of blind spots where, where you can't go with the airbrush or with, the, with, your, with your normal brush if you glue that already. Um, so. I think you definitely have to do that in multiple steps here. Oh, and by the way, if you're, uh, if, uh, you're going to build a base for it, you need a really large base, because this thing is definitely huge. Okay, we have these two levers here. Or, or mounts or whatever this is and we put on part 11 on top of that oh. and we have another trick here um, there's a little little part that you have to cut, cut off so that it sits smoothly on the mount yeah like this um, do we have that here too? yeah we have that here too Put it there also. Okay, yeah, looks correct. We let, we let it rest a little bit because there we will build in the the wheels and we add the the barrel lock. Is it a barrel lock or how do you call that in English? Write it in the comments, please. If you if you know how that's called, please add that for me. Um, 
because I don't know the word for it. Um, it could be something like travel log or something like that. Do you build the words in English the same as we do in German by just adding more and more words? I think in the German it would be um, something like like uh, Rohrverriegelung für, für Landmärsche or something like that. Okay, we, we added the wheels. And again, we're ready with that, and we're on the le on the last page already. Wow, wow, that was quick. Um, now we have the, the the pads on which the gun rests, and we add that from below to that uh, to the gun assembly. And I'll cut out the the gun shield here already, so that I can put aside this this sprue. Okay, this sprue is empty. We're good. We're done here. Look how massive the thing is. I can put two fingers, and it's it fits. That's crazy. Okay, we don't need that part. We need to cut this off. And turn this upside down. We have some holes here, put some glue on it, and what we're now going to do is we put the the pads on with the cutout side facing outwards of the gun. So like like this. And that makes sense because you have the the travel lock mounts that should remain free when you assemble the gun. And now it's important that you put it on the ground and push it a little bit so that everything rests in place. And now, wow, this is really quick to build. Cool. Um, did we miss something? Here's another part 10. Uh, maybe it's a spare part because I don't really see where this could go. Nope, that's definitely a spare one. Cool. I like it when, for this, those flimsy parts, the, the manufacturers put in some some extras because I know me, I lose that, or I lose it or break it, and then you have an incomplete model, and that is not cool. Okay, um, smart me. Uh, we put those rings in here. So on the out, it goes on the outside. The large ring goes first. Oh, and there again some some plastic, some excess plastic. We have to cut that away. Although here no one will see it, but we're building it nicely. Okay, and then we put on part sixteen on this this lock. Okay, and let it rest again. Um, I think. This will go in there later on, as I expected. This part was too fragile, and this will be our gun. Cool, really, really cool. Um, this goes here. Now I have to see if it's horizontally aligned. It is. Yeah, perfect. And lastly, the gun shield mount. I will uh, I will glue it in place, but not uh, completely. So uh, only the the levers to hold it, and not the gun shield itself. Oh, and don't throw away the sprue after that because all of those excess cartridges and cartridge boxes and so on that you will need for a cool base. Um, I won't go through base building with you. Um, with that, because I'm still thinking about some ideas I got there that are not fully fully grown yet, so this will take a minute or two until I finish it. Okay, cut it off here, 
the excess plastic. And where does it go actually? It's going like this and it's going... Are you freaking kidding me, Warlord Games? Are you kidding me? Okay, so here's the thing. We glued like 200 parts over this hole. Correctly, you have to assemble those first. So if you watch the video and you're going to assemble the gun shield, put those in first because now I can't really access this hole. Great, amazing job. I'm so happy this happened. Go here first, and they look exactly the same, so that doesn't really matter. Put it in and hope for the best. And here now, yeah, now I can't really assemble it in a way that it looks good, but we have to work with what we got, right? And. This goes here. And um, now, it, while the, the glue is still wet, we adjust those levers so that it will later on lock in to the gun shield nicely. So this has to go a little bit more up. And now comes the trick. We leave it in place as the, gun, uh, as the glue dries so that it will put some pressure on the parts and it will stick more firmly. Um, what I just thought about is I will probably put some magnets in here and here because this is wobbly and you have to, yeah or I'll just yeah you have to put in magnets so that it sticks nicely but then this is our complete model cool let's go uh, go and have some looks in detail yeah as you can see it hangs down a little bit sadly so this would be more uh, more suitable but I think it's really great. Look at all those details here. You can put your gunner there. Um, the the replacement gunner and gun range setter could go there. We have the breach here. Where, where it is there. Um, what I could have made a little bit more, more detailed is the breach block here. where the uh, So that it looks more realistic. But well... But look at here on the on the legs of the gun. Um, it's it's really nice. It's it's really really a great model. And I think, come on, elevate the barrel a bit. This looks so sad. This is the eighty eight from Warlord Games, and I will give you a short look onto the crew and how I plan to replace them. Here we have the Warlord Games crew, and we are with the Empress Managers crew. Um, I think the gun commander will be the same. I will probably use this one here. And now we go through the details. Um, here we have uh, something like the... So uh, as this was the rangefinder guy. This might be the gun commander. Then we have some loaders. Um, look at how amazing they, they are looking. Really cool. Really, really cool. And we have the same here. Um, this pewter looks a little bit different from what Wallard uses other times, don't know. And um, what I think is quite interesting, scratch, scratch. This is the gunner from Warlord Games, and he looks so much smaller than the gunner from from Empress. But if you put them side by side, uh, I think this one has so much more 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 charisma. And I can show you how it looks on the. Okay, gun. I couldn't do it right now with the gun shield because everything's not really in place. But this is how the the gunner will sit in there. Um, I'll have to adjust the legs a little bit, but I think that will look really, really nice. Okay, so that's it. Let me know what you think. Uh, what you uh, Do you like the model? Do you think the Rubicon one will be better? Um, what would you improve on it? And if you're getting your, one yourself. Oh, and if you like those kinds of videos, if we should build more models together, I have some cool stuff incoming. Just tell me if you uh, in the comments and then we might do that. Yeah. Cool. Have some fun and bye.